Hello everyone again, it's Dr. Corey and I have the honor to speak with Patricia and uh, we, Patricia we met here and, uh, on the way to um, Newark and she was just a delightful person and she's talking, she's a psychiatrist, a psychologist and she has folk interest in spirit, mind, body as, as much as I do. And she was just interested to know more about cancer, and she's been asking me questions. And I thought those questions will help you. And here she is. It's an honor to be here with you. Oh, the honor is really mine. Thank you. So, um, what? Would you had some questions, and they help. Those questions are going to help a lot of people. So let's do it. First question that I have is: I've been recently reading about light, about the difference between far and near uh, infrared saunas and what's your position, well, what, well, what are your thoughts? Any time you use far infrared um, light, those are energy medicine or energy approaches to healing. So every spectrum of the light has different things to help you with. So the more com complete the spectrum of the light is, so white light that is um, divided into different uh, portions would give you the maximum benefit from all light. So far infrared is amazing and it penetrates deep enough to help uh, with hyperthermia and help with restoring and detoxifying the body. So definitely the use of infrared um, light is essential because it really helps. We use light therapy in everything now, phototherapy and everything. So light therapy. Yeah. So uh, it's, it's, it's one, and as if we have mentioned earlier that it's so important to remember, there's not one treatment. It's, the, it's a complete restoration of the entire body. So every single thing you do, add to the point. So, you know, the light is one of the modalities. So we use a lot of modalities to restore the body. Another question, primarily what I read is about nutrients and supplements. Yes. And if you were going to give advice to, I guess, the general population on prevention. Okay. Well, prevention is better than cure, that's for sure. I mean, prevention is better than cure, that is definitely the way to go. So, if you start staying away from sugars, that is number one. And people don't know that sugar is not just the white sugar, okay? It's the white flour. It's all the breads, it's all the cakes, it's all the cookies, it's even the potatoes. So, when we talk about stay away from sugars, we do not mean just the white sugar. It's everything, even even fruits that are dense in sugar could be difficult on the body. Also, stress increases your sugar anyway. So if you're under a lot of stress, it's almost like you're eating, you're eating a donut. So it's the same because you raise your blood sugar level. If your blood sugar goes up, your insulin level goes up, and you you put yourself at a higher risk for cancer development, and you become acidic. Now that you brought up acidic, in an attempt to keep the body basic, do you have any specific suggestions? Yes, there is many, many, many things. Of course, I know you want to talk about baking soda, but there is other things as well. Okay. The more you drink a lot of water, the less stressed you are, the less stressed you are, the less acidic you become. The less sugar you eat, the less acidic you become. The more you sleep, the less acidic you become. So all these are ways to increase your alkalinity. And the less infection you have in your body, the less acidic you are. Um, one more thing that is really important, drinking green juices. Green juices, spinach. All these vegetables, all the green leafy vegetables are loaded with, al they're very alkaline. So the more greens you eat, the more greens you drink, the more alkaline you become. Of course, baking soda is another alternative. It really helps to restore the body into a healthier state. And there is ways to do this. Sometimes they use, use it with cottage 
cheese, sometimes they add sugar to it, they, sometimes they add flaxseed to it, and they call it the Budwig diet. And some people have used that. And uh, it's, again, it's one of many things we do to stay healthy and clean. What about the ketogenic well, diet? Well, most people do not understand what it is, but ketogenic is to get your food mostly from high protein sources and high fat source sources and less carbohydrates. That's what ketogenic diet is. So the, there is good things about ketogenic. Seven miles from the New York Airport, 